In today's Clash of Clans video, we will be explaining three strategies which you can use to set up your Lava Loon attack. Now, obviously, you can use a traditional Kill Squad Lava Loon, but we are going to be showing you three of the new, more popular methods, the more snazzy ways, if you will. They will include the Electron, the Queen Charge, and the Sui Hero. So we will be giving you tips and tricks on all of these different methods in order for you to try and integrate them into your own strategy to help you get the three stars with Lava Loon. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, diving straight into this first method, we have the Electron strategy, which will set up your Lava Loon. Now the Electron, you are aiming to do a number of things. You're taking out a couple of objectives, but you're also setting up pathing for the Lalo, much like many of your other entries that you will have. So in this one, we do use the Suicide Hero method alongside the Electron. That's commonly what you will do. But if we pause for a second, often what you will see, you'll see an example of this later on in the video, is bringing in, for example, the Electron method in order to take out an area of the base and then using your heroes, let's say, on the opposite side in order to just snipe off some defenses. Now, actually, what we are doing in this one is clearing out this area first so that we can directly target the multi-inferno. Now you have to decide whether your battle blimp is a good option for this, or can you actually use a stone slammer? Remember the slammer is not dependent on the position of the town hall, and it also means you can take out some defenses. So once we've cleared this top side, we can actually take the multi-inferno out before we clone the loons. Now all of these examples are at town hall 10, but you can use these through Town Hall 11 or 12. Now at Town Hall 10, your Electron method will be cloning the balloons. If we pause for just another second before we move on to the Lalo, look at what we've taken out here. We have the E-Drag, but the E-Drag you cannot clone at Town Hall 10. You don't have that capacity. So it is purely used to primarily take out the enemy queen, but also the clan castle troops. You're actually going to clone the loons and take out a set area of the base. You want to take out a multi-inferno and the queen if you have the ability, but also look at this. We've actually taken out this area now, meaning that our Lalo can be controlled. We only have one sweeper left, which is pointing in this direction, hence why the Lalo comes in from where it does. So that is it, in essence, with the Electron method. We now have the pathing set up for the Lalo. We have the Lava Hounds coming in straight down towards the air defense, and obviously the haste heavily used up in to the north of the base because the Lava Hounds had came down es essentially all of the way to the west, leaving that entire area vulnerable. Now, if you are new to the channel, guys, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for all of my Clash of Clans videos. If you hit the notification bell as well, you'll also be notified when any of my videos go live. So coming down to the end of this one, you can see that we actually protected the Electro Dragon in the middle of the base. We have minions clearing around the outside for cleanup as well, and plenty of balloons left over in order to finish up them final few defenses and then split up nicely in order to take out the trash buildings. So we do have another example of the Electron coming up that is going to be using the Battle Blimp, so slightly different, but let's move on to the next one, which is the queen charge now all of these attacks are from 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 molten lava bit of a tongue twister there guys they are new to the uk war alliance so massive shout out to them if you're interested in joining any of the clans that i cover be sure to check out my discord the link is down in the description but let's get into this one now the queen charge you have to be looking at a few things one of them being the air sweepers pushing your healers back. So you can see coming in from the right hand side of the base, we're actually going to be relatively okay from that. This Inferno being multi means we don't have to worry about a freeze or the queen ever getting in range of it and having issue. But if it is a multi, you do have to take care that it won't lock onto your healers and take that down. So do take note of the positioning of your queen coming in. 
you can see we're setting up the funnel in the very south here to basically just force the queen into this little pocket and obviously we have access to the CC and the enemy queen from this area which is nice guys and again we basically want to take out some set objectives yes but it's never a must that you let's say have to take out the queen you could take her out with a skelly spell she's probably the main one you want to take again the infernos if you can at town hall 10 try and take one of them out but again it's not a necessity what you need to do is think about what value you can get from these methods and then also the pathing of the lalo is massively massively important so you can see the sweepers now causing us a bit of an issue but we are going to get there in terms of taking out that enemy queen and we're now going to be starting the lalo you can see that the replay will end in one minute and 20 obviously this being a replay it is slightly different to just the full three minutes but if you are using the queen charge this is the one method that you've got to be a bit more careful on time guys in comes that stone slammer again i cannot recommend that siege machine enough we've had specific videos on it recently and you can go and check them out i'll link them in the top there if you missed that one but the stone slammer if you can it can be easily merged in with your lalo now you can see that we had to reinforce balloons from the top of the base they didn't quite get the value we wanted so a couple of extra loons come in but that slammer is still there we're holding on to three balloons mainly because of this wizard tower on the back end but if we do not need them we can then send in the loons as part of cleanup kind of just spread them around and you will be good to go from there so we actually want the slammer to go down here obviously wait until the final defense goes before you press that button and pop out your clan castle troops which will help with cleanup manage to swag a free spell and despite messing up a little bit at the top of the base still managed to crush it with the lalo all because of that huge queen charge getting the value in the center so again we didn't take out a multi inferno on that base but we took out so many other defenses meaning that we got the value we needed to now the final method I want to show you on this one before we move back to the Electron using the battle blimp though is simply the Sui Hero method. Now it all depends on what method you're using versus what amount of the base you're trying to take out with a lalo if that makes sense so you can see on this one look three lava hounds are being used we have the stone slammer which can help as part of that tanking as well in order to protect all of the loons so we have more dedicated to the lalo hence we need to get more value from it so if you're taking a lesser kill squad get the value you can but you're not expecting as much if you're committing more to your kill squad hence with the electron or the queen charge you need to make sure you're getting that value value to make it worth it so amazingly we take out an expo at the bottom of the base there not sure what that was doing down there but we are going to be able to take it out trying to just defend from this area and put a huge amount of defenses but it does mean that the sui heroes are able to take them out and essentially when we look at the base now yes we haven't creating a huge amount in the way of pathing just yet but that's where when you have more of the troops you then can be a bit more surgical so in comes the slam down to the bottom that's going to help take out a couple of defenses but notice how we still have a hound and we still have a bunch of loons to come in from this top side meaning that we can start to take out this area then reinforce as our troops come through and that's where you just do have to be a bit more surgical it actually takes a little bit more skill in timing waiting till that first air defense goes down just delaying that approach from the north if you will but it is so effective if you can do it just taking the heroes to get that minimum or, or maximum value if you want to put it at the start and look at how many balloons are left over here that is an annihilation of a base it's just insane and that is the power of the lava loon strategy if you can get it to work again you can use the traditional kill squad if you will but i wanted to highlight the three more um, I'm not going to necessarily say in the meta because the kill squad lava loon still works but obviously that was your more traditional methods these are kind of expansions if you will these have came after the regular kill squad so we're into the electron again and we have the battle blimp for this one so again 
what it boils down to is the position of your town hall. That means that your bad or blimp can only fly to a certain area of the base. And where are the defenses you want positioned? So let's say, for example, I actually wanted to take out this area of the base. The battle blimp's never going to get all the way across the base, so we'd have to use the slammer from the top. If you can use the slammer, it's the better option because actually it can do some damage. But you've got to look at the pathing of defenses. You've got to make sure you can get far enough in, etc., etc. The blimp can be the better option. So again, we come in with the heroes, take out some of these defenses, help the blimp look at both of the sweepers pointed up to the north. So it's pretty obvious here where we're coming in with a blimp. We're taking out the defences with the south. Remember the town halls up in this region. So we have to attack from down in this area for the blimp to come through. Now again, remember what I said in that first attack. What do you want to get? You want to try and get the CC. You want to try and get the queen. And if possible, a multi-inferno. So coming from that slight angle meant that we could get all three. Remember your electro dragon has to be under that rage in order to get the queen and the CC. And the balloons are cloned from there. Do not make the mistake that I have made in the past and miss your clone spell. It's very easy to do. Make sure you drop your clone basically a little further back. There's a little shadow underneath the loons. That's where you want to put it. So as you can see, there's a shadow underneath each and every one of these loons. That's actually where the loon is. It looks like it's a little bit further forward than it is. So do not miss that clone spell. As you get onto the Lalo portion though, again, we carved an area of the base in terms of right hand side here and we could bring the Lalo round again. Sweepers were pointing up to the north, so it's quite obvious where you want to bring your Lalo in from. The heal spell, very nice here in order to take us to that final wizard tower. Honestly, it wasn't needed, could have swagged that spell, but it's always good to take a heal depending on the amount of splash that you have. I find it gives you a little bit of a fail safe, in my opinion. If you know that potentially you can't quite surgically deploy your balloons too much, they're going to clump in the center of the base, you might then have to heal them up through splash. There might be no other way of doing it. And in that one, we knew all of the balloons were going to be in the center. That's where you want to use them heal spells when all of the balloons are there. You don't want to use it, or you can just depends on how important getting that area of the base down is, but you don't want to use it on a small group. If you can, get it on all of the balloons. Final attack of the video then, and it is again using the Queen Charge. So as you can see, five healers in this one. We have sweepers pointed up to the top of the base here, and one down across this area. So you kind of want to avoid them with the Queen Charge if you can. And this is a pretty symmetrical base, so we should be able to avoid that and still get the value that we want if that makes sense. No matter what angle we come in from, we should be able to attract the fire of the queen and the cc so we come in from down at seven o'clock on this one the king has created the funnel here and then the queen's going to start walking up this direction notice how we have the slammer as well that's another method you can use in order to get in but we're actually going to use wall breaks for these initial layers First, we have a test wall breaker, which was very important. We did have the giant bomb there. Free spell onto the multi is massively important. If the multi can get over the walls, your wall breakers will all get fried because they have that delay before they blow up. So you need to make sure you've frozen that multi. There's no other way about it, guys. Queen now walks in though, very nicely done. Rage spell is there over the top, ready for that CC, ready for that queen and the nice double poison now not two poisons what i mean by that is we're able to get value from slowing the enemy queen down with the poison and also obviously doing the damage on the cc so here comes the slammer in with the lalo nicely done in order to start just again taking out them defenses and helping with the pathing of our lalo here we know that the balloons now don't have to go to that area there's actually not too much of the base left at this point we've actually only got this thin strip of defenses very very easy in order to take out the rest of it with the lalo but again it depends on how much you commit to your kill squad if you are committing more troops in that of you know the healers you need to make sure you get that value because you're not going to be able to take as many loons so they can't take as much of the base out again we came in very nicely from a lot of different angles here swarmed the wizard tower there was no way it was doing major splash onto our loons and we've got so many of them left over with a rage with a haste swagged in the bag 
beautiful stuff here from from Molten Lava. Again, massive tongue twister. I'm going to have to practice that if I am recapping some more wars for them. But that is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe using the button next to me. But until next time, peace out.